On any other day, they'd be working to ensure Johannesburg lives up to its marketed ambition of being a world-class international city. But this Monday, they are joining fellow workers in making clear their demands. Among these are measures to save money and instead channel it for better service delivery. We are saying job evaluation system that you are fighting for, it, that it must be implemented. It must cut across. The very same senior managers must also be the subject of their position being evaluated under job evaluation system. Samu says municipal workers' payment structures are still based on apartheid era models. This means, the union says, people are in some instances paid based on the colour of their skin. They say this could have as much as a 50% bearing on how much an employee is paid. You find an employee who happened to be a general worker who was working for a black local authority and an employee who was working for the white local authority in Sentin. Their salaries are not the same and they've inherited that problem until today. The South African Municipal Workers Union says some 130,000 of its members are embarking on strike action as of today. It says this action comes after seven years of negotiations. Demonstrators converged at the Johannesburg Civic Center where they hoped to hand a memorandum to City Mayor Amos Musondo. Instead, a representative from the council was sent to receive the workers' demands. South African Local Government Association, which is responsible for municipal workers, agrees there are flaws in the system, but it says Samu's demands would deplete municipal budgets. Samu says the strike is open-ended. Non-essential services such as garbage collection, public transport and traffic licensing were all affected. Masin Siria Press TV, Johannesburg.